Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Gitgo at Open Transport Tycoon. Now, uh, something I saw uh, in a few uh, in-game years ago was that uh, electrical trains became uh, available and they are faster than the trains we have now. So it would probably be a good idea to convert our, our uh, rail network to an electric uh, rail network. Now, uh, to convert a train to electric rail, um, you can see here if I hold this button, we have electrified railroad construction. So, we can just uh, select that, and now we can make uh, electrified rails. And to upgrade the, uh, the rails in Open Transport Tycoon, you can simply uh, press this button, and then you have the tool for uh, upgrading rails. And we just drag it here, for example, and now all this, all these rails are uh, electrified. Now we have uh, <laughs> rails all over the map, so well we could just try to drag a square everywhere, but the easiest is just probably to select the whole map. So what I'll do now is I'll make an extra field port, and I will just uh, scroll to the edge of the map here. And now I will do the same here. And now I will just drag from this corner to this corner in the field port. And now our whole network should be electrified. So as you can see there's now all these uh, electrified lines above the rail everywhere. Now of course uh, it's easy for electrified rails because uh, for example diesel trains or even steam trains they can also drive an electrified railroad. So this conversion uh, shouldn't be too uh, difficult. Now, the second part is to actually uh, replace all your diesel trains with electrical trains. So therefore, therefore we use the replace vehicles menu. Oh wow, I still have a steam train somewhere. <laughs> I should probably uh, replace it uh, sometime soon. Anyway, um, so the one we have now uh, goes up to 160 km per hour and let's uh, change it to the fastest electrical one which goes 177 km per hour. And we just start replacing vehicles and that's all we really need to do. Anyway, um, I will not uh, stop the video now because then it would be a really uh, short video. If you were only interested in how to uh, electrify your rail lines, you can uh, stop watching now. Um, so, uh, something else I want to do in this video. Uh, I noticed that this uh, town which we made our bus stops and the heliport in uh, started growing quite, quite well. So if we make a station next to it, it should now also accept uh, goods, which it does. And it even accepts valuables, so we could even make a valuable line here. So that's something I will do uh, in this episode. And one thing I also noticed is that more uh, oil rigs uh, started uh, appearing in the map. And it's probably good to connect those to, uh, to some oil refineries as well. So this rig we can probably connect to this uh, oil derrick, or, or refinery I mean. And these two can probably be connected to this uh, refinery that's over here. And then we would need also need to make another uh, goods line. So that's what I will be doing the rest of the episode. Now, let's first take a look at these boats. <laughs> so the original boats were all made for this uh, oil rig. It produced quite a lot more oil in the beginning. So now uh, many of these boats are waiting. They're probably not all uh, profitable anymore either. So I will just send a few of these boats to the depot. And then we'll make some... Uh, then we'll make some uh, new lines to other uh, oil fields. Now again, this distance from this oil field to this uh, oil refinery is a bit too big, so we'll need to place a few buoys to guide the ships in the correct direction. 
the pathfinding for ships isn't as uh, advanced as it is for uh, trains and road vehicles, I guess. But that's probably also because the ship can uh, operate in this entire area and road vehicles and trains only have to look at the roads and the and the rail lines, which makes the pathfinding a lot easier. Alright, we just tell it to full load any cargo. And then we just tell it to go to these buoys to find its way to the oil refinery. Now, I've told you before that uh, oil wells always uh, decrease production, that will never increase. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it's the same as uh, true for um, oil, oil rigs. I did notice that the one we connected to earlier has quite a lower production. So it will be something to keep an eye on. But uh, this oil, uh, oil rig still produces quite a lot. So let's do three boats. Alright, and then we'll see how this goes. Now the distance from this oil uh, refinery to these two platforms is a bit too big, but thankfully there's a oil refinery here that's quite close by. So we can use this uh, to transport our oil to. Okay, now that that is taken care of, um, I think it's time for us to work on a goods station here. So let's uh, do that first. Now we can remove this uh, sign probably. Oh, I just have to uh, click it with the left mouse button. <laughs> that was the trick. Alright, our station is now ready to receive goods. Now, the goods are still all brought uh, to here. Now we have uh, quite some trains, not too many thankfully. Because for all these trains uh, we either need to change the orders or just uh, send them to the depot and just uh, replace them. Because we didn't put shared orders for these trains. Because if we had put shared orders for these trains, uh, I would have just have to change the orders for one of them and it would be changed for all of them. But because we didn't, uh, we have to change it for all of them. Now what I will now just do is uh, just send them all to the depot and I will just uh, rebuild them. Now, if we want to uh, see the trains that we sent to a uh, depot, um, they will have a blue number in front of them. So these trains are now all in a uh, depot. As you can see, they made quite a lot of uh, profit in the last few years, with uh, because they were transporting goods, which are usually uh, worth a lot. Now, if I want to uh, remove one of these trains, I will just click it. Then you can see here the depot. Then I click the depot, and here I can just remove all the trains that are in it. So I will just do this for all these trains. Now here I forgot to place some uh, more signals. So we actually made a gridlock here. Let me correct that. Alright, perfect. So, I guess the reason this uh, train still has a steam train is that there's no depot it can easily take its uh, take its uh, train to. There's a really short uh, line to the steel uh, mill. So, I will just uh, place a depot somewhere along this route and then it should also uh, soon replace itself. 
Alright, we'll probably need a few more of those uh, good trains. I can imagine there's a huge pile of goods right now because we uh, didn't transport them for, for a bit when all the other uh, trains were sent to the depot. So let's, uh, let's just add a few of these trains. And then they should start making some profit uh, quite soon. As you can see, these electric trains are uh, quite fast. Which I like. Means more uh, profit for us. And it sometimes also uh, means you will need less trains because they, uh, they are able to drive from and through the stations faster. Alright, now there's one thing left we should do, um, which is to take the goods uh, created by this oil refinery and to transport them to a city. Now we could transport them to this city, but I think it's a little bit too close. So we could probably just connect a city on the other side of the land. Maybe uh, this city right over here and then just transport our goods uh, over there or actually uh, this uh, this one could probably work all right i've decided to go with uh, this city but the landscape is not really uh, favoring us right here so we should either make some land here on the side of the sea or we should try to put the station in front of here i think i'll make the station in front of here but it also means we have to destroy a house. Our reputation is very good though, so let's see how far we uh, can get here. Alright, we need to uh, remove some more uh, stuff here. In order to uh, actually allow it, the city to accept uh, the station to accept goods. So, let's try uh, removing these. Okay. Our reputation is still good enough. Let's quickly place down the station. There we go. Now this station is probably way too big, but who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe we'll want to uh, send more goods here in the in the future. Who knows? Um, now we need to just need to find a way to connect to this uh, railroad here, and also this railroad only. Uh, Connect, this junction is only connected in one direction, so we should probably um, also connect it in the other direction. And that will <laughs> require some uh, careful uh, tinkering. Now one thing I don't like about these uh, electric railways is that these uh, electrified lines above them really uh, sometimes hamper your uh, vision. But with, if you press X, you can just uh, turn those off. Could be a useful trick. Okay, I think uh, I've connected all the directions now. It is uh, sometimes easy to uh, miss one connection. But from here, they should now be able to go uh, either in this direction or in this direction. And also from uh, all these three lines, they should be able to go to this line. So I think this, uh, this should work. Oh wow, this is a fast uh, diesel train. And I just uh, electrified all my uh, rail lines. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll we'll wor worry about that later. All right, and here we should make the other end of the goods line. So here I can, I think we can do with uh, just a few tracks. Well, let's make it four. Probably again too much, but uh, who cares? We have the, we have a good location. We have uh, a lot of money, so let's just do this. All 
All right, we are now uh, connected to this existing uh, rail line here. But um, again, here's uh, just a junction that's connected in one direction. So we should now also connect it in the other direction. All right, looks like we have a big gridlock now on our network. So, um, it looks like we are missing some signals here. And this should probably be done in a way that's a little bit more clever. So, probably a good idea to uh, fix this as uh, soon as possible. Now, we probably need some extra signals here just to prevent this situation from happening. Because as you can see, a little uh, traffic jam here um, just goes across the entire network. And that's something we'll want to prevent. Alright, I think I've uh, resolved the situation here. Now this bridge here is quite a yeah, quite a, an obstacle. So there's a quick way to make more trains be able to pass over this bridge, which uh, I'll do by just building another one next to it. So right now, when one train is uh, halfway across the bridge, or uh, the back end is still on the bridge, then a train can simply uh, choose to use the other bridge, and then they don't continuously have to uh, wait for each other. Alright, uh, that was it for this episode. Well, <laughs> in the beginning of the video, uh, I already showed you how to electrify your lines. It is quite easy to do. Um, well, I just right now a new diesel train has been invented, which is faster than, uh, here you can see it again, which is faster than my electric train right now. But um, replacing this one will, uh, to replace it I will have to remove one wagon from each train, because it's a double, uh, double engine. But um, I hope uh, also a new faster electric, uh, electric engine will be uh, will be invented for me actually I think I will just uh, replace them now so I'll just replace vehicles <laughs> we still have one uh, diesel train and I will just replace them with this uh, fastest diesel train 201 kilometers per hour it should uh, it should help them uh, get a little bit faster. Now one thing we have to do for this is that uh, because it's a double engine, the engine is twice as long, so then we'll have to use car removal. So if we turn this on, it means that one wagon will be removed from each train, so they will keep their uh, the length they currently have. Uh, because all our stations are 7 tiles long, we also want our trains to stay 7 tiles long or else they will be longer than the stations and then loading and unloading will take a lot longer. So I will now just start replacing all the electric trains uh, we did in this episode and I will replace them with these faster diesel trains. Now like I said I hope a faster uh, electric train will still be invented, I'm not sure. Or else we have electrified all these rails for, uh, for nothing. But now at least you know uh, how to do it. Anyway, uh, if breakdowns are enabled, uh, you can see that these electric trains are a lot more reliable than this uh, diesel train, which I will be changing them to. So yeah, and it also has a shorter lifetime. The electric train has a lifetime of 23 years, and this one has a lifetime of 20 years. So if breakdowns are enabled, then uh, you may want to uh, reconsider uh, replacing these electric trains with these diesel trains. But because we have breakdowns disabled, uh, I think it's a good move. So let's start replacing them. All right, that was all for this uh, for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and 
I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.